Hey there, Bixby developers. Today, I'll be showing you how to create more engaging input views by utilizing structures. In this video, I'll be showing you how to first create the input view on the left, and then to upgrade it to look like the input view on the right. In order to do this, we're going to have to run through a few steps to first create this input view. And why don't we just go ahead and get started? Starting off, we'll want to create a new capsule from a template, and we're just going to be using the facts template for this. And now we just add a few facts. I went ahead and added some facts about cats, a couple about cats, one about a dog, and finally one for the other category. And this capsule will use these tags to find those specific facts. And we can just name this playground dot whatever. I'm just going to call this input view structure and click generate. So now let's go ahead and try this out. A house cat is genetically 95.6% tiger. Bunnies and rabbits are actually the same thing. But for this video, let's have this capsule actually prompt us for what type of animal that we want to fact on. And in order to do that, we'll actually need to create the input view as seen in the PowerPoint presentation. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is actually convert this primitive over into an enum. And the reason why we can use this as an enum, it's because we know exactly what species will be available to ask for in our capsule. So next, let's go ahead and create a vocabulary file for it. And we can just have it match the search term concept. Okay, so I'll give a quick explanation of what this vocabulary does. Basically, it matches with each of the symbols inside of the search terms. We have cat, dog, other. And this vocabulary file, we also have cat, dog, and other. And these are just other ways that the user can say cat or cats in this case, and then it will return this enum of cat for Bixby to understand. So the next step we'll have to do is we will have to go to our get content model right here. And we can see that right now the input of search term is optional. But in this example, we're going to make it required because we're going to want the user to choose a species. And what default init does is that it fires once it gets to this collection for the search term. In this case, we're going to need something that will get us the search terms that are available. So basically return the species that are available. In order to do this, we're going to have it run the get search terms action, which we haven't created yet, but let's go ahead and create that real quick. And for this, all it does right now is it will output search terms. And we're going to make this a type of search. And for every action, you need an equal but opposite action JavaScript. So this one will just be get search terms.js. We're going to do that. Just to kind of illustrate this, I'll create a variable called search terms. And it will have cat, dog, and other inside of it. Then this action will simply return search terms. And also, why don't we go ahead and get rid of this error here, which is in the training. And right now, because we changed this search term to an enum, it is requiring a symbol. And the symbol is cat in this case. So we can just click Save. And now let's give it a run. I'm still learning how to do that. So still learning how to do that, that means that I actually forgot to add it to the endpoints. So let's go ahead and do that. And as a quick refresher, this endpoints links the action to the JavaScript. Which of these? That's cool. It actually grabbed those and now it's giving us a selection of cat, dog, and other. Why don't we select dog? Did you know that dogs have three eyelids? And we can try cat. A house cat is genetically 95.6% tiger. But what if we wanted to make this a little bit more engaging by having 
little icon as well as a description for each of these types of species. Well, we can create an input view that now takes a search term structure and that search term structure will have all this information right here for each of these search terms. Let's go ahead and try that out. Now the first thing we'll have to do is to import some assets. And I have these icons right here, but you can use your own icons, or you can also download them from this repository, which I will have in the description below. But now we actually have to create a model for the search term structure that this input view returns. So let's go ahead and do that real quick by right-clicking structures, new, and we're just gonna name this the search term structure and the template will be a structure. Just click create. And it's gonna have three properties. It's going to have a search term inside of it, which will match the search term that we actually need. And this will be required. I'm gonna copy this. And the next one will be an icon and it will be viv.core.txt. So this is obviously for the icon right here. In this case, like a cat, for example, and because we're using viv.core.txt, we need to make the visibility private. And next we can add a description for a little bit of flavor text, and it will also be required. So the next thing we have to do is we have to actually make the action get search terms return the structure instead of just the original search term concept. So we can change that over to this. And then finally, we have to make the JavaScript match that as well. So each of these will need a species, or sorry, a search term key. And then each of these will also need an icon. And I may as well just do this part first. Images slash icons slash something.png, and we will fill that in in a bit. And then each of these will need a description as well. So next, uh, we just need to fill this in real quick, cat, dog, and other.png. And why don't we give each of these a cute little description? And there we go. So now this action will actually return these, these objects which match our new search term our new search term structures model. But now we actually have to create a view that can accommodate this. So let's right click and actually, why don't we actually give this a try and see what happens. Which one of these three search term structures? And clearly this is not what we want to actually display to the user. But if we click on one of these. Unlike humans who have 206 bones while cats have. We can see that the functionality still works even though it doesn't look very good right now. So let's actually create a view for this by right clicking and new view. And this is going to match the search term structure. So we're gonna to have to fill this in, match the concept of search term structure. And we can just have it be this. I'm gonna add a message to this, which is just going to be and we need a render selection of. So the selection of will iterate over our search term structures. And where each of these search term structures, which I'll just have as an A, will be a cell card. And we're going to have a slot two. And it's going to be the search term. So we're right now we are creating the cell card that this thing gets displayed in. And right underneath the search term, we're going to have the description. And we also want to add the image as well. And we included the image, the image's URL as the icon. And for the image, it actually needs a shape why don't we give it a square shape? And let's also give this a background color of black. Well, it looks like I did everything correct in one go. No errors. Go ahead and try that out.
Which of these cute animals would you like a fact on? And there you go. Just like that, we now have a much more visually appealing structure here for the users to look at. You know, they can obviously see the cute little cat icon, the dog icon, and just like this other icon as well. And when you click on one of them, a house cat is genetically 95.6% tiger. It works just fine. So, okay, that's great and all. And really the last step that we want to do is to create some training for this. So let's go ahead and do a training for search terms. So this is, so this is actually prompting you for a search term right now. And at prompt for search term. And we can just do cat as an example. Highlight this, click on value, and just type in cat. And there it is. Unlike humans who have two hunt. And after adding a couple trainings for this, now Bixby knows that when you're at a prompt for a search term, it is looking for one of the synonyms or one of the words in the vocab right here for this in order to provide you the proper enumeration for it to give you the proper fact. So there you go. That's how you can create a much more engaging input view, just like that by utilizing structures and including maybe a little description, a little icon, as well as some training to get you started. Thanks for watching. And yeah, that's it.